Hi, we're going to be making an ice treat for Berlin today. Today we're going to be making a five gallon bucket ice treat. Um, so that's going to just be a whole bunch of different kinds of food that she normally gets. Um, and we're going to just freeze it so that later on we can throw it to her. Um, she really likes frozen treats, especially with how hot it is outside. First we'll put in the lettuce. Then we have pears. Next, apples. Then the carrots. On top to garnish, we have the corn and peanuts. So we're gonna put in some frozen fish, which we uh, have here. Um, it's lake smelt today, but she likes all sorts of different kinds of fish, and she gets um, a whole bunch of different varieties. We're gonna be putting this peach extract into Berlin's ice treat. Um, it'll make the ice a little bit tinted in color and also smell. Um, and polar bears have a really impressive sense of smell, so it'll be nice for her to be able to enjoy not only the frozen part, but the smelly part as well. We're gonna be filling up the ice treat now uh, with some water, just, and then we'll stick it in the freezer. <laughs> Have to make sure it's nice and mixed so that it's tried to be as even layered as possible. <laughs> the ice treats, uh, it depends on the animal. So we do it for quite a few of our animals. For polar bears, you put fish in there. And uh, today, I think she had some, uh, some greens and, and lettuce in there. So uh, it just depends. You don't want to do the same thing every time because then it isn't as, as interesting. It's kind of like a, a kid with a toy. They look at it and say, oh, that's the same thing as yesterday. So we try to vary it up a little bit. We'll do the same thing for sea lions. Uh, penguins sometimes will do that for. This is just for fun. Uh, we put about 4,000 pounds of ice out in her yard and let her go to it. She usually rolls around in, into it. We'll put some ice treats in there. So it's a lot of fun. Almost like having a Christmas in July. 